the next will be to add the center points for center points we will create one layer click on layer properties new layer we will give name center to it then we will choose some color for it okay then we will close it then we will make the center layer current then to create center points click on annotate then here is the center mark click on it then select this external circle so it will automatically add the center mark same way here same way we need to create center line here between these two lines for that you can use this center line tool click on it then select the two lines between which you want to add the center line select this line and this line so it will automatically add the center line same way here center line this line and this line then same way here center line choose this line this line you can also press enter to repeat the command and this line and this line now for these lines middle small line is not shown as shown in this case for that we need to reduce the lt scale so that give lts command enter and reduce the scale factor we will make it 0.75 enter now it is showing it properly so in this way you can add the center lines then next will be to add the dimension for dimension also we will create one layer for layer give la enter click on new layer give name dim choose the color we will take this color ok close it then from here choose the layer for dimension we will use this dim layer then click on this dimension tool then we will give diameter to this circle take your cursor outside click again to this circle then we will give location from this line to this end point then we want to give dimension to this just click the point give the location then radius for this circle radius for this circle then click on this end point and this end point take your cursor inside give the location same way we want to give location from this line to this line click on this end point this end point ok I made a mistake click on undo and select this end point then give the location here then give total length and give this total width so in this way you can add the dimension press escape to come out and if required you can add detail view also to add detail view just click on the view then from here click on detail and select the type of view whether you want it circular or you want it rectangular suppose I want it circular then give the center point for the circle and create the circle and then give the location for the detail view where you want to place it click enter so in this way you can add the detail view and you will have to place it at empty space so right now I don't need detail view for this drawing so I will just delete it select it and press delete button on the keyboard so this drawing is ready the only thing remained is the drawing sheet so in one of the previous tutorials we have learned how to create a drawing sheet that same drawing sheet we will insert here to insert that drawing sheet at first we will create one layer for sheet give la enter click on new layer give name sheet then choose some color suppose we will take this one ok close it click on home and make the sheet layer current then to insert the sheet type i 
enter then browse the sheet so here is the sheet a3 open then here we will specify it at 0 0 position so we will remove any tick if it is there and we will use the scale 1 as to 1 so remove this tick also and give the scale of 1 angle of 0 is correct and unit of millimeter is correct and we want to explore that sheet so we will take this option also here click on ok so here left side is placed perfectly only for the right side the size is larger actually this dotted line rectangle is the actual printing area so your sheet should be smaller than that area or of, of the same size then only it will print properly if you want to check what is the size of printing area for that right click on this layout one then click on paste setup manager click on modify click on properties and here is the print size area 410 by 263 so we will check what is the size of our sheet and we will resize it cancel it close it at first we will check this size for that give di enter give the first point give the second point here size is 297 and we need 263 that is 297 minus 263 it will be 34 escape it so we will stretch it by 34 give stretch command here is the stretch command click on it then click in empty space take your cursor on the left side ensure that your this line comes inside the green window then only it will stretch properly give the second point press enter give the base point give the direction give the distance of 34 enter now if we zoom it you can view that it is exactly on the dotted line just double click scroll button for zoom extent same way on this side we will check what is the size give di enter give the first point take your cursor on the second point now here length is 420 and we need 410 that means we will have to stretch it by distance of 10 press escape again give the stretch command then give first point then cover this title block because we want to stretch it also give the second point but we don't want to stretch this views and its dimension to remove this object from selection set press shift and again create one crossing window give second point so those object will be removed same way this center line ok so everything is removed then press enter give the base point give the direction give the distance of 10 enter and here it is properly placed and next will be to move these views so that it will not intersect with this title block for that just click on the view click on this blue grip and take your cursor above so it will be moved same way for this view take it above and click and click now for this also take it above and click escape it is created properly we need to move it above again because this A is coming in the title block move it above now it is taking this midpoint object snap we don't want it so we will just make this object snap off so that it will not take any object snap and click and escape just click here also and take it down ok escape in this way these views are placed properly and by using text command you can fill the data in the title box in this way this drawing is converted to 2d drawings so that's all thanks for watching we will stop here